we are entering into biogas production in the biogas production so why we need methane we know very well the methane gas is not only used for uh, the kitchen purpose not only for running the industries not only for running the schools and colleges if there is a power cut and also for sustainable agricultural application in most of the agricultural land they are using cow dung methane gas for taking the water from the well to the soil so like this so many applications are there for the biogas biogas we are producing with the help of the anaerobic bacteria methane producing bacteria called methanogen sometimes they are saying methanogenic bacteria sometimes they are saying methanogen sometimes they are saying biogas producing bacteria sometimes they are producing um, sometimes they are producing no sometimes they are asking the biogas um, application will be controlled will be controlled in which way like this they are asking so all this things should be answered properly so now we will enter into biogas production okay we already given a lot of examples for the cvs treatment plant okay now in the uh, biogas production before entering into the biogas production the methane gas um, you know variable ch4 right which is very very important for making many things all right you know very well uh here beverage production uh is having the important application of the biogas right so the beverage industries or oh, there is a reason why we told simply all the industries are run with the help of the biogas why because it is a cheaper um way of utilizing the resources you know very well this methanogen bacteria likes the cellulolytic material that means plant debris plant debris are plant waste or mixed along with the microbe and that to the methanogen bacteria that to anaerobic bacteria this anaerobic bacteria which is nothing but a again back i'm repeating this anaerobic bacteria is a methanogenic bacteria um like this we can't say every time all methanogenic bacteria are anaerobic bacteria but all anaerobic bacteria are not called methanogenic bacteria this methanogenic bacteria or methanogen or methanobacterium is very very important in making the methane gas at the massive level we know very well um, for the production of the cheese for the production of the beverages we are using bacteria right so in this particular methane production industry by using anaerobic bacteria we need to maintain the oxygen free environment the plant debris should have the less amount of um less amount of plant cells having the lignin and pectin so you know very well the plant cell which is having the less amount of lignin plant cell which is having the less amount of pectin plant cell which is having less amount of lignin plant cell which is having less amount of pectin is widely used for the production of the methane gas why because the methanogen is a bacteria which grows very well if the plant debris are having less amount of lignin and pectin less amount of lignin and pectin there is a message we need to understand we know very well the biogas production uh, in the biogas uh, lab or biogas um, project so should be executed uh starting from the collection of the cattle dung cattle dung is rich in methanogen the cattle dung is rich in methanogen that particular dung or cattle fecal material or stools either you say stools or either you say cattle feces uh, or either you say dung which is rich in uh, this methanogenic bacteria should be mixed with the plant debris and uh, oxygen free environment ph control medium temperature control medium should be maintained to produce plenty of biogas which is nothing but a gobar gas which is very very important for the which is very, very important for running many number of energy resources right so now we need to understand um the cattle uses methanogen in its intestine for production of the plenty of cellulase enzyme the production of plenty of cellulase enzyme is very very important 
uh, in the cattle dung, which is very, very important for breaking the cellulose, for breaking the cellulose, for breaking the cellulose, for breaking the cellulose. Cellulose of the cattle dung. Cellulose of the cattle dung. Like this, we are not saying plant debris are having cellulose much more, which is digested by cellulase enzyme of the methanogenic bacteria, which is responsible for removing the cellulose at the drastic level. By using this cellulose degraded material, we are producing plenty of methane gas, which is used for various energy fuel uh, applications, right? Um, this is the way you need to remember in our mind. Now we are entering into um, the biogas production uh, application industry, not only Indian Agriculture Research Institute, Kadi and Village Industrial Commission also using this biogas production uh, in a more uh, uh, controlled way um, so that what uh, the poverty line uh, people or else we can say the people living below the poverty line are making use of this application to um, satisfy their demands at a very cheap price. Okay, so now we are entering into the next biogas uh, production conclusion area. This technology is used more widely in the rural area. Okay, and uh, second thing is um, we know very well uh, production of the methane gas is not a deal. At the same time, removal of the waste material is very, very important. And the byproducts waste which is coming when we are making the methane gas should be removed properly or else there will be huge pollution in the world. Okay, and the carbon footprints are very, very huge. That is the reason why the biogas production, uh, when we are executing it, a lot of toxic components also, toxic waste also will be produced that has to be removed or else it creates other issues. So before entering into the next uh, subheading, biocontrol agent, we'll be going to the related videos. Whenever you're having time, go to the go to university portal. We kept to the classic uh, uh, video. Go for the worked examples. Uh, worked examples always uh, we are discussing with the previous board papers and hot postings. So explain the role of the micro in the production of the biogas. Provide an overall view of the key microorganism involved in the process of biogas production. In this entire concept, the methane gas, which is the primary component collected and used as a renewable source for lightning purpose, right? So now we know very well the methane gas is very, very important, right? That production will be executed with the help of the methane gas. That production will be executed with the help of the uh, methanogen bacteria, which produces methane gas. That methanogen is an anaerobic bacteria, we know very well. So oxygen free environment should be maintained. Like this, a lot of subheading should be maintained with proper narration in a point by point order. Discuss the factor influences biogas production, how the temperature, pH, and type of organic material can impact the efficiency of the biogas. You know very well the temperature, uh, pH level, organic materials. Organic materials. Um, so proper pH, proper temperature you should, should be maintained so that the organic waste uh, are degraded by using the efficient uh, cattle dung uh, microbial application, right? That is the way uh, we need to narrate them, right? <coughs> now, if you're entering into explain the environmental benefits of the biogas production, discuss how biogas contribution to the waste reduction and its role as renewable sources. One is waste reduction, okay. Um, here all the organic waste coming from the kitchen will be used for waste, um, will be used as a waste dumping. Instead of that, we can collect this waste and then we can use for biogas production, renewable energy. So biogas primarily composed of methane, serves as a renewable energy sources. It can be used for cooking and lighting process. Okay, there is a basic information. We need to understand. So here, basically, uh, the greenhouse gas full of carbon dioxide is creating the uh, global warming. That is the reason why we should use a methane gas to reduce this um, normal gas 
plant. So in the normal gas, okay, we are using the uh, sometime we are using the plant debris directly, okay, or else uh, uh, whenever you are using the median gas without removing the toxic gas, it creates a lot of consequences. There is a reason why the toxic byproducts produced along the biogas should be removed. Number two, the biogas, whatever the way we are using, that should have the less production of carbon dioxide. Okay, in all these way, we need to program. Then we can keep the uh, pure environment. Okay, for our next generation, right? So now, tips for the exam: all the technical terms, how we are using, and how the different subheadings we are using, how we are narrating is very, very important, right? Now we are coming for the next point is um, in the biogas production, what we need to use is uh, one is anaerobic bacteria, another is aerobic bacteria digestion. Uh, concept we need to discuss in detail. Um, and then second thing is in the biogas production, how the biogas plant is constructed um, in a controlled manner, okay, in a such a way it can receive the uh, cattle dung without much amount of human labor, so that the biogas we can give at less price for the population need, right? 